Hey guys, uh, thank you for checking out the channel again. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at Coconut Cannon, a game by Pirate Wizards. It is ages 6 and plus, 2 to 5 players. Side note, you're able to play with more, but it's not official. But I can, uh, I can tell you you can play with more players because we have tried that. 10 to 15 minutes. So it's a quick game, fun, chaotic, great for parties. Also great for kids. My five-year-old is able to play the game. No issues whatsoever. He able to pick up on it right away. Uh, the game did come with some stickers. Not sure if this will come in the official or regular release. With pirate games or pirate wizard games can comment on that. But we did get some stickers. And in the box, what you get is instructions and a stack of cards okay what do you have in the instructions okay in here you get a setup so it tells you how to set up the game how to start the game and uh, how to play the game on the back of it you also get uh, information on some of the special cards and it looks like you get a QR code to watch a video on how to play but we're going to teach you how to do that now so because we can't just do an unboxing because that would be too quick of a video. Let me show you how to set up the gameplay and how to play. So basically, for example, let's say this is a three player game. And you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna give each player um, cards until you run out of cards. Okay, until you split the whole stack evenly between all players. But to make things short, let's just pretend this is what you get. All right, now normally if you have a card left over, so let's say I have this card left over. Well, actually, let me give you a different one. All right, let's say that will be the leftover card. You will put that in the center of the table and that's what you will start with. Uh, if there wasn't any, um, whoever did the best pirate in, uh, impersonation or impression, impression will be uh, the starting of the game or you can just randomize it, it doesn't matter. All right, so every player will get five cards. One, two, three, right? So each player has a draw pile and a hand side, and a hand um, um, hand cards that they're going to keep in their hands. Usually, there's going to be five cards, and you have your draw pile. Each player is going to have the same thing. There is no structure to the game. The only thing is that you cannot play game. You cannot play a card twice. So we're gonna go. Uh, you're gonna play a card once. You're gonna draw from your draw pile. So let me give you an example. So the way it works is you can either match the color of the card, you can match the character, or you can match the amount of characters on the card. So this card has three characters, and it has a green color. So I will be able to play this card because this card matches the color of that card. So I will play the card, draw another one from my draw pile immediately, and then another player can go, okay? And this is gonna happen fast. So let's say this guy plays this card and then they draw another card and you can keep going. I mean, if I have a card, I could potentially go now, right? Um, so that's how it works. And essentially what you want to do is you want to be the first player with our cards. Okay, so that's your basic. Again, you can match colors, you can match character, or you can match the number of characters on the card. You also get this uh, special cards. Let me separate that. It's, you get the cannon. Second, Marson. Let me find those real quick for you guys. Dobo and the Kraken. So what happens is, and let me just double check with this just to make sure. So whenever you play this, you can draw, you can swap. Whenever you play this card, you can either swap your draw pile, all the cards you have in your hand with another player. So let's say I want to swap Let's say I want to swap my hands with another player's hand. So that's what will happen, and that will be my new hand right now. 
Um, when you do play that card, the gameplay pauses until that's done, and then you continue with the game. Uh, where's the other one? The other one is called the double. And the way this works is you're going to discard. You're going to discard two cards. And then you're going to discard that. That's how that works. So it allows you to discard, to, to get rid of two cards, and, and you place this card on top of it. All right, so that's that. Then you have the Mersan. And when you play this, you basically pick a player from the group and they're unable to play again until five cards have been played or uh, once they've sung the Mersan, uh, which is right here. And it's got the lyrics in there. Okay, so that's that one. And then you have the Coconut which means it allows you to discard all cards in the hand and then you play, so let's say you have one, two, three, four you have this, then at that point you can discard all hands your entire hand and you put, leave that one on the top so those are all the special action cards, again you're gonna the whole goal of the game is to get rid of all your cards, whoever gets rid of all the cards uh, first is the winner um, Very chaotic game fun the more people obviously they have the more fun the game is uh, It is for kids. I want to say um, but um, We have fun with our kids playing the game so Definitely adults can play the game especially if we have a big group. It could be a fun game to play All right, but that is coconut cannon from pirate wizard games they provided this copy. Thank you very much for providing the copy. Uh, we will list the link and their information below so you can check them out. Again, this is Blue Ape Games. Hope you have fun. Hope you enjoy this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. And be sure to be good to each other. Take care. Bye.